He has got high heels on. Can I ask a question? Right now? How, because my voice has gone after ABBA, how nervous were you guys doing ABBA in Sweden? I was Yes, you were. <laughs> I was buzzing. Are you? I thought, I thought Stockholm would like it. Did you like Did you it? Like it? Yeah! We were waiting for about 57 shows to get here <laughs> to see it. Yeah, and you know what's even more special? ABBA are here tonight. They're going to come out and say hello. <laughs> No, that's the next time we come back. Nikki's not even a comedian. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what? We have so many memories, uh, so many amazing memories here in Sweden and outside of our home country. We've always said, and we're not just saying this, and I hope you don't think we say this in every country we go to, yes. but it does feel, it always has felt like home because we were just teenagers. Oh, yeah. We were just five guys with a dream that came over to Stockholm on a plane obviously <laughs> in economy uh -huh. that was before the private jets <laughs> and we went to Chiron Studios <laughs> and to be amongst the great songwriters that were in Chiron then um, and to have the I mean we were so honoured they were writing for everybody at that time it was the Backstreet Boys and Sync <laughs> The list is absolutely endless. And then the song started to be written for us. If I let you go, come again. My love. It just went on and on. And it meant that we were able to come back to Sweden and do some tours. And we did, obviously, the Globen Arena and now called the Avicii Arena. And we had many, many, many great nights as Keith touched on earlier on in Cafe Opera and other places, and that was before social media. Thanks be to God. That was before <laughs> Botox. Botox. <laughs> that was before ABBA. Yes. That was, oh. that was before Sweden equaled Ireland's record in the Eurovision. <laughs> so we feel we've grown up with you guys, and we want to say thank you, and what's lovely tonight is to see so many faces who slept outside the hotel in the snow. You've all grown up now, as have we. Some of you are married. I can see all the lads in the audience. Give it up for the lads in the audience. Love Westlife. Love Westlife. Finally, I can go see. When you're looking like that. Um, and then, of course, as I think Shane spotted in the audience, a new fan, a brand new, uh, brand new little baby here tonight. There she, there she is. So we're celebrating 25 years very soon, and we just want to say thank you. We're going to come back to Sweden, we're going to do one of the arenas. <laughs> so our manager Sonny's here tonight, and we had a brief conversation with some of those amazing songwriters who wrote for us all through those years. Some of the guys and their families are here tonight. We want to give, I don't know where they are, up there, over there. I'm sure they're the VIP seats. But thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much to all the Swedish songwriters and producers. So with that, who's following us on Instagram? No. Be honest, who's not following us on Instagram? Okay, all of you just get the hell out, okay? So after tonight, we're gonna we're gonna stick up the happy birthday video we did earlier for Mark. We're gonna put it on our Instagrams, Nikki, Shane, Keen, and Mark. And if you don't follow us, we're gonna block you all. You think I'm joking? All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming along tonight. I hope you've enjoyed. There's still a lot more to come, but we're gonna sing a song that when we heard this, we thought we have it. We have our next big hit record. The writers are here tonight. You're gonna know this one. We wanted to sing it loud and proud. This is called, I lay my love on you. Sing it, sing it. 